Thanks, Ryan. Majestic Mount Hood has a front row seat in Portland as we fill the final spot in the final four with USC or UConn. Watkins, the new kid on the block. Best show out of Hollywood this year. Eight points away from grabbing the D1 freshman scoring record. Let's see the stars shine tonight, ladies. Huskies in blue, Trojans in cardinal and gold as the number one seed. And that final ticket to the final four about to be punched. Southern Cal. Debbie, very similar to our first game. Both these teams are at their best playing a fast tempo. Yeah, and, and it's not just this vertical speed. It's the quarter court speed, just like that. Five lifted above the free throw line. Wide open lane. A defensive effort by Nika Mule not to let her cut back door. She's, she knew that play was coming. Both sides chilly to open up the game, shooting it under 30 percent. Mule, the all-time assist leader at UConn, that's saying something with all their great point guards. Edward Strong to the rim. They get you playing side on, and Edwards with the defensive rebound. Arnold, there's that burst. They're going to attack Padilla as much as they can tonight. Baylor has some poise. Paige Beckers will counter, and she will go right at Padilla and draw the foul. That's a matchup they're keyed in on. Well, you got to sprint back in transition, and you got to stop Aaron on the pass. I mean, Juju doesn't need much space to go where she needs to go. She can make a play in a tight space. Beckers off the cross and the dish, and she drops it off for Edwards. The transition defense of USC not good in the last few possessions. It's two for four from the floor. 0 for one outside the three-point line. Edwards gets underneath. Spins back to the other side and scores. So now UConn comes with a ball screen on the naked. Nika Mule running with Arnold to pull up, and Nika Mule's got it. Nika Mule doesn't look to score very often. She <laughs> Lindsay Gottlieb is, can't believe it. Contact on that shot attempt. Here's Beckers stepping outside the line. Whoa. Man, they call is... it a two, but they will review it at the Man. next. Off the mark. Edwards able to tip it to Beckers. Arnold, nice change of direction, floats it up and in. I'll tell you what, I don't think USC has gotten into any offensive rhythm yet. You have to give some of that credit to UConn. Just 29% shooting and only one of six this quarter. Good help by Padilla on that drive. Samuels wide open, look, got it. Now that would be what you call confidence. 7-0 run for the Huskies. See that one on one matchup once in a while. Two leading scorers are showing it. Both averaging over 27 points yes. per game in the postseason, and Pickers with a dozen. It's so obvious if you're. De Lindsay Gottlieb has multiple defenders that she can run at Paige Beckers as well. Here's Ice Brady now making an appearance in the game for Connecticut. Beckers, D3, hits it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yes. I love offense. Open up the night in the first matchup. Dawn Staley's crew looking strong. And the heavy favorites to win a third national championship. Don't count out the Wolfpack. They have made an incredible run to get here. And the lefty Ice Brady knocks down. Uh, done all right. Always room for improvement. I think I got to do a better job of hard, they're guarding me off the ball, moving, coming off screens, um, setting screens, getting other people open. Um, but yeah, we'll talk about it at halftime. With a couple of your starters picking up multiple fouls, we saw Coach move to more of a bigger lineup. What, would, what did you like about that group? Uh, just rebounding. Um, we can force some more into the paint, get Aliyah some touches inside. Aliyah hit, or uh, Ice hit a nice jumper outside of the paint. Um, so just trying to get the ball inside more and then get it out from there. Thanks, Paige. Thank you. Before, when they bowed out in the Sweet 16 to Ohio State, 
up in Seattle, and now they're trying to get back. And but Juju in the scoring area, right? I mean, as soon as she gets close to what would be considered her range, they leave someone and try to bring two to the ball. Also noteworthy here, Debbie, for Aaliyah Edwards, she is playing without her mask for the first time since breaking her nose in the Big East tournament. Better three-point shooters when the ball skips over the top to the weak side. You've got to be ready to catch and shoot. She's over tonight. Mule at the other end is not. She doesn't take many, but she's a 40% three-point shooter. They do not get together to change the call, so it stays with UConn. Edwards, aggressive to the rim. Ray Marshall doesn't, out of control. Juju Watkins not getting a touch. You gotta make Connecticut work on defense. Just 29% shooting tonight for Southern Cal. Beckers! Seven. We're under five minutes to go here in this third quarter. Winner to face Iowa at the final four. Shade able to knock it down. And some distance for UConn and a foul going to be called. Timeout. Oh, oh nice Beckers steal. jumps the passing lane. Paige Beckers scoops it up and in. UConn by a dozen. That's a scouting. You got to jump to the ball right now. You got to communicate all cuts and try to keep UConn in front. Beckers comes to get it. Big B honor. Mule playing with those four fouls. Finds Brady in the corner for three. Ice Brady for a passing lane. No KK Arnold to start this fourth quarter with four fouls for Connecticut. Mule is playing with four fouls for UConn. Edwards gets to the baseline, lay it in, and one. Rayo Marshall late on help. This is where he orchestrates who he wants, where he wants with his offense in front. This is really going to be something to watch. We asked him about it yesterday. How much film do you want to get your players in the right spot? He's in a lot. Mule drops it off for Brady. He gives him concept. Give her teammates a chance to operate with some more space. She's got 21. Beckers has 19. Winner gets Iowa at the final four. Nice fake. Edwards window. I mean, Marshall doesn't even pure adrenaline. Everything we have to play another day. Beckers on the inbound. I can't tell you the number of times Lindsay. No chance there. Beckers collects, spins baseline, tough shot, gets it to go. Now I thought that was a foul. And we cannot play from behind because of our depth. We don't have the ability to extend our D. But they can shorten the game here by running clock. Beckers for three. Got it! What a shot. Making plays here in the... She and Mule and Edwards have played every single second tonight. Count it! That's how you beat a press. You attack it. You... Final two minutes. Now you don't want to foul now. You want to stay solid in your D. Becker's off the bounce. Pulls up in the lane for two. And in a late clock, Beth, you let anybody but Paige Beckers catch it. Things didn't look good in early December. Three early season losses for the Huskies, who are proving that it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And UConn knocks out a number one seed to head back to the Final Four. freshman season clubs to a close for Juju Watkins here in the Elite Eight 29 points 
24 for Mackenzie Forbes, but it's UConn's night. Beckers with 28, 10 rebounds and six assists. Edwards with 24. And Nika Mule, eight points, five rebounds, eight assists. They didn't step off the court, not one time. They all play the full 40. And what may have been the rockiest road of his career, Gino celebrates another trip back and a shot at a 12th national championship. And on an historic night around the women's basketball world, more to come next weekend in Cleveland with South Carolina, NC State, and Yukon, Iowa. National semis on Friday night. It's gonna be great. We've got the overall number one team in South Carolina. We've got Caitlin Clark in Iowa against Paige Beckers in UConn. And then there's this team called NC State who's just gonna slide right into the final four. Nobody's gonna be talking about them. And they got a great opportunity as well. Paige Beckers is with Angel. Paige, you had to watch from the sidelines last year. To be a part of this right now, advance to yet another Final Four in your career. Can you just tell me what's going through your mind right now with this team? There's so much gratitude. I'm a living testimony. I give all glory to God. He works in mysterious ways. Um, last year I was praying to be back at this stage. Um, and he sent me trials and tribulations. Um, but it, it, was, it, was, it was to build my character. It was to test my faith to see if I was the only go! believer in the Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! But I just kept on believing. I did all I could so God can do all I can. not And just so much joy and pride for this team. I'm so proud. We're not even supposed to be here. And here we are, a godly miracle. And I'm just so proud. I can't even put it into words. That's what coach told us earlier. He said it's going to take a miracle for us to win, especially with a depleted roster. But what is the message to everyone that is that is not an excuse with this group? You can you can overcome anything with God on your side, with hard work on your side, and with the belief and the faith and just the perseverance, the resilience. Um, it's all about how you overcome adversity in life and battle tested and just sticking together as one and not letting anything break us. I saw just recently Coach R.M. walking away with tears in his eyes to just understand what he's put into this group and how you guys can have that moment with him. What is that like? It, I mean, he's, he's our leader. He's instilled confidence within every single one of us. We got 60 to 70 points sitting on the bench in street clothes, and he's just kept up, kept the belief, kept us motivated, kept us hungry, and just kept us positive. And just to share this moment with him, it means everything. Caitlin Clark in Iowa taking on Paige Beckers in UConn in the nightcap. For our entire crew, I'm Beth Mullins, Debbie Antonelli, Angel Gray. Thanks so much for being with us on the road to the Final Four in Cleveland. Coming up next, it's Sports Center with SVP.